What's going on my fellow photoshoppers? It's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to have a go at creating a portrait with a paint splatter effect. So Photoshop windows open at the ready please. Go to file and new. I'm going to use a slightly large canvas size for this particular project here. The width will be 2700 pixels and the height will be 1800 pixels. Background content will be white. Click OK. Open up your graduate series image. Go to the move tool. Left click, hold your mouse button down, drag your image up to your new project window. Don't let go of your mouse button until you've dragged the mouse cursor back down into the middle of the canvas. Double click on the background layer to unlock this. Rename the layer white background. Double click on the name of the layer with the face. Rename this layer face. Press enter when you're done. With the face layer selected, go to create a layer mask. Ensure that the layer mask is selected. Press Ctrl and I on your keyboard to invert. For Mac users, make sure that you use Command instead of Control and Option instead of Alt. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer Rainbow 1. Go to your gradient tool. From the gradient selections, choose Spectrum. Double click on your gradient thumbnail. Some of the color shades in this particular gradient will be too light to use for our project here. What I'm going to do first of all is double click on the purple. Type in the color code EB00EA. Click OK. Next, double click on the cyan box underneath the actual gradient. The color code you want for this particular shade will be 00A7A8. Click OK again. Next, we will go to the green 00C500. And then finally, yellow. F3, F4, 0, 0. Click OK on the gradient editor window. Ensure that your gradient tool is set to linear gradient. Mode normal, opacity 100%. Dithon transparency ticked. Hold your mouse button down and drag your cursor to the opposite corner of the canvas. Let go of your left mouse button when you've reached the corner. Right click on your rainbow one layer and choose create clipping mask. An alternative can be if you hold an alt on your keyboard for PC users or option as a Mac user and left click in between the rainbow one and face layers to create the same effect. In your rainbow one layer, go to the blending options and choose lighten. Open up one of your splatter images. Go to select and color range. In the color range selection boxes, choose shadows. Click OK. Go to edit and define brush preset. Name your new splatter brush pattern appropriately. Click OK when you're done. Repeat the defined brush preset with your other two splatter images. Return to your main project. Left click on the layer mask for your face layer. Go to your brush tool. Select the splatter shape you have just saved as a brush. Left click on it. Go to Window and open up Brush Presets. Click on Brush. Change the foreground of your brush to white. With your face layer selected, go to Adjustments and Threshold. 
change the threshold level to 192 for this particular image. Click OK. Click Brush with your layer mask selected inside your face layer. Left click on the middle of the canvas to reveal the face. Avoid going beyond the eyes and the mouth. Go back to your brush window and alter the way that your brush is in terms of size and position to vary the paint splatter effect on your picture. Don't forget to also select the other paint splatter brushes that you've created also. Avoid going too far beyond the facial features of your image, such as the mouth, as the border of this particular picture was very close to the face. And this will create a square effect like so, which will ruin the splatter effect. Press Ctrl, Alt and Z if you make a mistake at all. Right click on your Rainbow One layer and duplicate layer. Rename this layer Rainbow Two. Click OK drag your rainbow 2 layer down underneath your face layer go to create a new layer drag this underneath rainbow 2 rename the new layer splatter press enter when you're done switch your colors around now for your brush so that your foreground color is black and your background color is white now what we are going to do is add extra splatter effects to this particular picture to finish off this portrait. You can use the splatter brushes to go around the face without actually spoiling the facial features themselves. Don't forget to modify your brush each time, changing the size slightly and its position so that you vary the splatter effect. Keep on going until you are happy with your result you may choose as well to have some splatter effects a little further away from the face to reveal the other colors from the rainbow. Ensure that the blending mode for Rainbow 2 is set to lighten and that you create a clipping mask for this also for your splatter layer. This will ensure color consistency outside of the face. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas about what I should do a Photoshop tutorial of next, please leave your ideas in the comment section below. Join me soon for another Photoshopping tutorial. Enjoy the rest of your day, take care.